Hi friends, we're going to be creating this layout in this class today, uh, which features a kind of a windmill with some paper pieces. Um, and our first job will be to lay down some ink onto our background. And for this, um, I've used some um, Distress Oxide ink, which I've smooshed onto some packaging there. I've spritzed it with water, and then I've used some other old packaging then to lift that up and that gives me that inky background. I know it's something we've done lots of times before, um, but if you do get stuck at all, just uh, give me a mess or PM me and uh, I'll try and help you out. Um, this class would be great to do as your third one um, because I shall be using lots of the leftover papers, which you'll have heaps of. So um, you can just cut those off um, up into triangles, as I've done there. I've just used scissors. I've measured mine are about um, maybe nine centimetres by, five centimetres wide rather, by nine centimetres high. Um, but I've just literally eyeballed it, so whatever you think really. Um, you could just try uh, making yourself a little template um, just to give you an idea. Um, but literally, we're just using up some bits and pieces, so don't stress it too much. Um, just kind of go with what uh, suits you. Um, but the um, triangles are isosceles shape, I think, so that's kind of thinner and taller, rather than your equilateral. Was. <laughs> Need to go back to my maths, but um, yeah, it's definitely not a right-angled triangle, more isosceles. So um, I'm just arranging, so I've cut out about sort of nine, eight or nine pieces. Some are thinner and bigger than others. And I kind of like the texture that that gives. So you just need to roughly um, arrange those. Now my actual windmill will be kind of more or less central. Um, in the end, I do mount the background onto another piece of paper, as you'll see in the final layout. So you kind of want to make sure there's enough space on that right hand edge um, so that you'll be able to trim it down later. But it's kind of more or less just a little bit off centre and just a little bit above centre, um, horizontal centre. So that's kind of where I'm going with this and I'm just going to tack these down then with a bit of glue. I shall be sewing my triangles so um, just to add some texture and detail. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can skip that part altogether, or you might want to do all the edges, or you could add some hand sewing here and there, um, really, you know, to make it your own. The, the kind of the gist of it is really to create um, that sort of windmill with a bit of texture, um, and then we're just going to overlay those um, embellishments on top and, you know, stickers and so on. So I think it's a really fun technique and um, it's really a good way to use up those scraps. So don't worry too much with scrap papers that you're going to put on top here because um, obviously they all coordinate. And I've not really been too fussy about which one sit next to the other. So there's a couple of busy papers together and um, a couple that are not, so I think everything goes really. Um, so here, um, I was going to make this um, paper pieced um, ice lolly. <laughs> so um, I'll just show you what I had in my mind and I don't use it in the end. So what I'll probably do is move that to a card or another layout and um, I'll share that with you just for a bit of inspiration. So I've used that um, card stock and I've just hand cut some sort of rectangle shape. These aren't my favourite cutting out scissors to be fair. <laughs> and um, so as long as it's thinner and taller like a nice lolly. And then I'm just going to round the corners. You could use your corner rounder. Um, but I've just, as you can see there, just used my scissors. And someone's going to take a bite out of my lolly. Um, so I'm just cutting out the uh, corner there with my scissors a bit roughly. And um, what I'll do is I'll pop a nice lolly stick in your um, kit so that if you want to make your own, you can. 
but it turns out super cute really but um unfortunately it didn't actually work on this layout and i didn't want to stress it anymore so <laughs> i had to put it to one side um, so the photo is actually from a day out with uh, a couple of friends. We went to an air show. So we had, um, it was it looked like it was raining the day that, well, it actually rained on the day that we went to this air show. So we were pretty gutted. Um, and then by the afternoon, it was absolutely boiling hot. <laughs> so we were pretty gutted that it was so hot. Um, you just can't win, can you? But we had a super day out. So it was really good fun. So um, that was with Julie Taylor and Jackie Ashton whom you probably both know anyway so <laughs> so um that coral card stock actually goes perfectly with my picture you may find that you know because of the color of your picture you might need to mount yours onto something else so you know do go ahead and do that there is plenty of pattern paper and um, card stock in the kit Sometimes it's just nice to go plain though. But I really love that, so it really makes it pop. So that's kind of more or less where I'm going with this. So um, now I've gone off and done my sewing. So I've stitched some kind of around the outside of the triangles, whilst others I have uh, just stitched down the centre. So as long as you start in the middle and work outwards, you're kind of going to get that effect that I was after. So just to make things more interesting, um, I've marked the background onto um, that pattern paper there. And I'm just going to save that pattern paper for later. So you could obviously mount it straight onto the back there, but um, I'm being a bit frugal and taking mine off. So I'll just trim off the manufacturer's strip and just be sure to leave enough um, so that you've got enough to, to put tape behind it, as I'm doing here. I'm going to sew mine, so um, I didn't want to put too much sticky in the area that where I'm going to sew, because that just kind of messes up your needle and machine. But just enough to, to make it tacky, I think. Um, but I'm sewing mine together. If you're not doing that, um, then do go ahead and... Um, ensure that yours is well stuck down so somehow I've got a bit of blue ink on my pattern paper which is really 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 annoying because I've only just cut it out and clearly I could have hidden that had I um, seen it beforehand so not really sure what happened there and all I'm doing now is trimming it back down to 12 by 12 So I end up leaving that inky splodge on my um, layout just because I couldn't fix it any other way. It just makes it look more handmade, eh? So now I'm going to stick and arrange my photo and so on. And I was just deciding, should the photo be straight because the angle of the cardstock now, or should it be parallel to the cardstock? And in the end, I've gone for parallel. So that means I've... Here's my photo, so it's parallel with the white one, or we'll adhere it rather, rather than going with um, it looking vertical, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so at 90 degrees um, on the finished layout. Bit of a uh, tape error there. It's um, always tricky to... Um, kind of explain things so when I've written up the instructions for this one um, you'll find I did try to explain about putting setting that um, paper at an angle but hopefully as you can see here it was really simple it just sounded complicated in in writing so I'm going to be using the cool vibes perspective which has a lovely uh, satin finish to it uh, I think the coral and the mint are my absolute favorite colors of these um, so this is kind of unique and hasn't appeared in the Bramble Fox shop. Um, once the kit goes out, then I will add it to the shop. Um, but I like, always like to add a few pieces, if I can, to the um, kits um, ahead of going into the shop. Seems like a cute thing to do. 
Um, so that's sunshine. Um, I've just fussy cut that from the cut apart sheet. But I think, you know, there's stickers and, you know, other bits and pieces. So go ahead and um, just choose something to put at the top there. And then that is one of the acrylic pieces from the Buenos Dias collection. So don't forget to remove the vinyl off those because it's very, very thin, the vinyl. Um, so you can't necessarily see it, but once you've removed it, you'll see how lovely and shiny and glossy it is. So just pick some stickers and put some onto foam tape. Um, I just, I love the kind of retro vibe of these stickers. So I've just picked a few. I don't necessarily think they go with the theme of my day. Um, because as I say, I was at an air show. Um, so I think it's just summary things. So if I've got my ice lolly to work, we could have put that there. I really like that balloon sticker because it's got a little bit of um, gold accent. And I like the way it kind of connects things together. So it's um, really rather fun. And I really love that windmill, I keep saying that, so I'm definitely using that technique again because it's just a superb way of, of um, using up some papers. Look how cute that little bow is. So just whatever you feel like, just throw it all on. And if it's your last one, you know, you'll have loads of stickers left over, so I do tend to go a little bit more nuts on the last one. Although I have done a bonus class now, not a class, but a layout uh, for inspiration. So um, you can make sure that you see that one. So we're kind of almost there, isn't it? You know, although I kind of think this was the most complicated, but actually came together so quickly just because I had a really clear vision of what I was after on this one. And as you can see, it was really simple. So it's just really a case now of adding some embellishments. Incidentally, that tag that you can see behind the photo, I end up turning it 90 degrees so that it comes out from the side of the photo and it goes over onto the edge of the pattern paper. And it was much better there because I think it connected the pattern paper to the background. So just be sure that you leave um, some space behind your photo when you adhere it down. But that'd be a superb place to put your journaling. And then you can just tie in some ribbon, whatever ribbon you've got left. I don't, I'm not sure what, which one, uh, which ribbon that Julie used or, or so on. So, you know, if I've used the same ribbon or you've run out, just use another one. So what I'm doing with mine is um, if you take the um, seam binding, which is the white soft ribbon, I'll just show you how I coloured it. So I've still got some of that ink lying around. I've used salvage patina, but again, you know, if you don't have that, because it's a new ink, um, just use um, a broken china or peacock feathers or yellow, anything will do really. So all I've done then is apply the ink there, add some water, and then just smush up that ribbon until it's nicely saturated. Um, and you can use distress inks for this. The Again, the distress oxides come out a little bit more opaque, a little bit more chalky, um, and just leave it to dry. Otherwise, you'll just get ink on your background. So just any last few touches. And I think that really kind of wraps everything up. I'm not sure that I'm going to be doing anything else other than faff around a little bit. And I'm sorry it's off camera. You, I kind of forget to check back position because you kind of think, oh, it's, it's in frame and then it clearly isn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I've got another perspective there from the kit. I love those little banners. And again, the, you know, the kind of etched um, detail and satin finish are just my favourite things. So. And just remember to take off the any vinyl that you've got on there. So it'll be on the back of those and not the front. Um, and you're good to go. 
So I really hope that you've enjoyed this class. It was really simple. Obviously it took me a bit longer than the 15 minutes of the video, um, but I've got it on double speed. So um, hopefully it won't take you long though, um, because I, I found it really easy and it's a really good technique to use um, for those scrap papers. I think I'm just having another acrylic piece here. Maybe at the end, surely. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave you with um, just me finishing this off and some music um, along with the close-ups. Hopefully you can see everything you need to do from this. If you've got any questions, just uh, say, just PM me or uh, drop me an email. I'll be happy to help um, and I'll see you on the next class. Take care. Bye.